Hello friends and welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting module which is very very apt in today's time and age which is known as social intelligence. Well friends, parents and relatives and teachers have always given more importance to our IQ rather than our EQ. Well, it becomes very important to understand that we do not only have to be bookish by nature or rather be book smart, we should always pay more attention to how and when we are able to build relationships and build rapport with people who are around us. Today's technology and the way we are living, we have stopped having human connect with people. Rather, we are glued onto our phones and our social media without really in understanding the importance of connecting with people on a real-time basis. Let's take a look at what is there on the agenda for us today. Well, here we are going to talk about social intelligence, what are certain problems, certain causes of social intelligence, components of social intelligence, the seven tips which I'm going to share with you on how to become more socially active and a success chart is what we're going to discuss. So friends, what exactly do we mean by the term social intelligence? Well, the capacity to know oneself and to know others is an inalienable part of a human condition as is the capacity to know objects or sound and this has to be treated with as much more importance as anything else in the world. Well, it's important to know yourself, know what are your strengths and weaknesses and also know about the other person which can happen only when you communicate and build rapport with them. Well, certain problems in today's time and age, and I'm sure many of you will relate to this particular cartoon picture over here, which says, I've got hundreds of friends on Facebook, but I've never really met them. And the other person who is the older generation says, when I was young, we used to call them as imaginary friends. Well, how many friends do you really have on your social media right now who are just strangers to you, whom you know as acquaintances, but have not really built a rapport with or have not really known what's going on in their lives. We always flip through our uh, social media platforms trying to understand how many likes have we got or how many people have liked our photos and everything else that we've shared. But do we really know these people? Well, it's important to really connect with people in today's time and age. Well, certain causes which is leading to less of social intelligence in today's time and age are seek information instead of developing skills. Thinking too much when people really want to go out and meet somebody uh, who probably might be there on their Facebook page. However, they think too much whether the person will like it or not like it or may take it in another way altogether. They psych themselves out with regards to too much of uh, you know, being bombarded with too many information on social media. So do not psych yourself out with that information. They can't deal with fear. They live in an uncomfortable you know, zone or environment or a dangerous environment wherein they fear too much. They fear about things which might not be even true. So getting too much anxious is not something which will help you in the long run. Well, certain components of social intelligence, and this is something which is very, very essential to understand, is you need to be self-aware. Try to understand what are your strengths, what is your weakness, where is your passion and stuff like that. When you are aware of yourself, you are more confident as a person and you come across to people as having a high self-esteem. So always build time to know yourself. The second is have self-regulation. That means to put on your thinking cap every day for at least 30 to 45 minutes a day. Try to be introspective for yourself. Try to think about what went right, what went wrong and what could have been done in a better way. When you spend time with yourself wearing your thinking cap is when you are more comfortable with yourself and you are able to show yourself in a more confident manner. The next is social skills. I would really urge all you youngsters out there who are watching this video, do not just uh, you know, talk to people or chat with them on social media platforms, rather get up and go and meet people face to face. That way you will build on your social skills, which, are, which is really very, very important in today's time. Next is to have empathy. 
put yourself in another person's shoes and try to think from their point of view try to think about things which are important for them their feelings are more important than your feelings so always empathize with people i think that's such a winner and you can really get to know a lot of people when you empathize with them the next one is motivation. It's very important to be motivated to talk to people and build rapport around with people. If you are somebody who's demotivated, ultimately what happens is people do not want to be around you. If you're always complaining and cribbing and you know stuff like that, people do not want to be around such kind of a negative person. Well, there are seven tips in order to become a more socially acceptable person or having social intelligence. These tips are, the first one is smile. I think that's such an important part of your day-to-day -day living. Nobody wants to meet someone who's always frowning. So always smile. Second is, be sensitive towards others. Third is, you need to listen. Do not hear. Listen to listen to them. And that's a difference. Do not listen to reply, but listen with listening powers. Eye contact is something which is very important when you're talking to people. Fifth one is learn about body language. Try to see what is the positive and negative body language in a person. Try to observe the actions. Sixth is be assertive. Be firm and polite but be assertive. That's something which is a quality which everyone should have. The seventh one is manage your relationships. Do not get into so many relationships that you're not able to give justice or be just to any one relationship. So always try to have, uh, you know, manage your relationships in a confident manner. Well, there's a nice quotation which says that action is the real measure of intelligence. Do not think only, but do it. So action is much, much important or way far important than just thinking about things. So get up and take charge of things and show to people that you care for them. Well, here's a success chart for those of you who really want to get into the social intelligence mode. Have always a positive mode. Team identity is very important. Try to always um, work in a team and a team is always better than working individually. Be motivated. Most, uh, most importantly, have emotional awareness. Know about your feelings and always try to um, be in tune with your feelings rather than being a little distant away from that. Communication is important whenever you're talking to people. Always have stress tolerance. Do not look at somebody who, who's always stressed out about things and you know, always anxious about things. Stress can be a major disaster on your face if it shows that you're stressed out. People do not like talking to people who are all the time stressed. So always manage your stress or tolerate your stress. Conflict resolution is important. If you want to be around people, try to always be somebody who can resolve conflicts in a positive manner. Well, friends, that brings us to the end of this short module on social intelligence. Well, looking beyond just one brain at a time, social intelligence is about acting wisely in these brain-to-brain -brain linkages. Whenever we are talking to people, we always connect with them in terms of neurons and energies and vibrations. Hence, always make sure that you're connecting with people, going out there, showing that you love and care for people. Relationships need to be given time to. Do not be hooked on to your social media. Do not talk to imaginary friends. Get, uh, you know, just get up and get out of your home and really go ahead and interact with people real-time basis rather than off, you know, uh, off real time and on social media. Well, I do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular module on social intelligence. Keep watching more videos coming your way. Till then, thank you once again.